Hey guys, a couple of weeks ago I replaced the timing chains and tensioners in my 2010 Tundra. It has 170,000 miles on it. And I was getting a lot of noise at cold startup. The noise seemed to be coming from the front of the engine, mostly from the driver's side bank. So I did a little digging and it's, it seemed like the timing chains were probably slapping around in there so I decided I was going to replace them. So here's one of the tensioners from the passenger side I pulled out. And there's really no visible damage on it except for a little polish on this plunger right here but nothing you can even feel with your fingers. The only thing I saw on them was a little bit of varnish on the plunger itself. So I wasn't sure if that was you know, what was really causing these things to kind of bind up and, and just not come out and, and push on the chains like they are supposed to. So I decided, hey, once I got them out, I'm going to throw them away. Why don't I cut them up and see what's inside? Okay, so here we go. I got the whizzer out and I'm just hanging on to this thing and trying to cut it up without cutting my finger off. I broke my vise, so I didn't have anything to hold it in. So I'm just trying to cut it back uh, without hitting the piston to see if I can maybe get this thing opened up and see what's inside and, and maybe um, find some coked up oil or some debris in there to, uh, that forced it from uh, pushing out. So here we go, I got it cut open. There's a spring in this guy and a plunger and that's pretty much it. Here you can see I've got the uh, lower half of it. There's a looks like there's a little, um, I don't know if it's a check valve or something like that, but if you look inside, there really is no coked up oil. All of the stuff you see in there is just material from the wizard um, uh, cutter. There really isn't anything in there per se in terms of like coked up oil. So I was really kind of surprised to see that because I thought for sure something in there was really binding the thing up. So here's a look at the piston itself or the plunger itself. Again, there's that little wear mark on there, but honestly, you can't even feel that thing. There's no shelf or lip on it. Um, really, the only thing that seemed to be a possibility to hang it up was the varnish on the end of the plunger. So now let's take a look at the driver's side plunger here. This one had a little more varnish on it for sure on the outside, um, but the plunger itself didn't seem to have any damage on it at all but you can see there in the tip of the plunger there was a lot of varnish on it. So I use the whizzer here to just kind of slice it up again trying to not cut my finger on there but um, a couple of times that that whizzer did jump on me. Okay so now I've got it uh, cut off here I'm gonna pull it apart now I see a little bit of debris on here it looks kinda of like coked up oil but I I think it's mostly just debris from the whizzer wheel um, coming apart because I, I kind of scraped some of it out and it, it just didn't look like coked up oil. It looked like fresh whizzer wheel. So um, I was kind of surprised not to see like a whole bunch of coked up oil in there. I was just kind of surprised. So um, here, this stuff I'm pulling out here, this is just um, debris from the uh, whizzer wheel. I know it does look like coked up oil, but I, I don't believe it was. Now this thing was a, a piston inside a piston and it had a little check ball in there. So I think this thing is made to take oil in and then have a kind of a check valve in there to keep the oil in the plunger so when you shut the thing off it doesn't all drain back. So here I'm taking this thing apart and you can see there's a little uh, cap on it and a little ball uh, bearing and a spot for that bearing to sit in. So it does look like it's some kind of a check valve or something. but. The piston itself, um, I did pull it out here, and the piston itself just doesn't seem to have any real varnish on it. It's a very, very small amount, and it's mostly on the outside. So um, I'm curious as to how it would stick or why it would stick. So here's the plunger from that tensioner, and you can see it's in really good shape. There's no ridges on it, there's no wear marks, there's there's really nothing in terms of wear on it. So I, I was kind of curious as to as to what was causing this thing to hang because it seems like 
um, it was happening more and more and, and um, it's happened to a lot of people. So I started to think about it a little bit and then start doing a little bit of math and maybe have an answer. So the question is, how much pressure do you think this tensioner puts on the uh, timing chain? Do you think this thing pushes out at like 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 80 pounds? What do you think it is? Put your answer in the comments. So after doing the math, I was kind of surprised at how much force this thing puts out. So let's go through the math right here. So to calculate force, it's pressure times area. And how much oil pressure do you think the Tundra has? I, I couldn't find a number um, online. You know, the, the gauge is just a gauge, but I, and I don't have a, a pressure gauge on mine. So uh, it could be anywhere from 30 to 50 to 65 pounds at, at the max. but Let's say, uh, for our example, let's use uh, 45 pounds, okay? So to calculate the area, area is pi r squared. So the plunger diameter is 0.625 inches. So the radius of that plunger is half of the diameter. So that's 0.3125. So if you square 0 0.3125, that's 0 0.09765 la 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 times pi, which is 3.14. So that gives you uh, 0 0.3066. So 0 0.3066 times 45 psi is only 13.79 pounds. That's really not that much pressure. And if you think about it, if those plungers get varnished up and they get sticky, and you also have the uh, chain guides kind of leaning against that plunger pushing it back in 13.79 pounds is not a ton of force to try to overcome that so to me it makes some sense that that varnish is really all that held that plunger from coming out um, I mean that that's my theory I could be wrong what do you guys think leave a comment in there and let me know what you think thanks for watching